hair is a pretty difficult thing to render, which is why a lot of places try and steer away from characters that have hair. Back in the day, uh, Disney and Pixar created Monsters, Inc., and apparently, if I'm remembering correctly, one frame that Sully was in took an entire week because of all of his hair and all of the particles. So, if you want to do a bit of hair, I definitely, definitely recommend patience. <laughs> So welcome back to Sets by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we're going to be making some hair. Uh, I, did a, I did a couple tests last night before I went to, uh, before I went to bed, and I, I played around with a, uh, a couple things, and I had, uh, I had some good results, so I want to share that with you today. Um, we're going to get rid of the default camera, uh, and we can actually keep the cube. I know, it's insane. We're going to switch on over to Blender, uh, to Cycles Render, sorry, my bad. Let's switch, over, switch on over to the Cycles Render, hit Shift-C to put my cursor back in the center of the canvas, and one on my numpad and five on my numpad to go into orthographic and we'll add back in our camera all right so we'll move that back to about right there zero to go into the camera's view so now we have our camera i'm going to set up the resolution really quickly um that's going to be a thousand by a thousand something simple just so we can see the ball of hair and with our cube we're going to scale it up a little bit five to go out of orthographic mode let's scale it up just a little bit and uh, we're going to actually add a subdivision modifier um, and make this a circle. The easiest way to make a nice, clean circle. And we're going to go to Tools and Shading. We're going to turn that to Smooth, just like that. All right, so now we have our circle in which the hair will be emitted. I'm hitting S on my keyboard to scale up, by the way. I don't remember if I said that or not. <laughs> just, in, oh, just in case I didn't. Uh, now we're going to go to this particle tab over here, and we're going to hit new. We're going to add in some particles. Now we're going to hit uh, hair. We're going to switch the type to hair. So now we have all these hair follicles. Looks uh, pretty crazy right now. Looks like a big giant fuzzball. So we're going to turn the length down just a bit. Maybe like uh, two. Yeah. Two exactly looks pretty good. Um, and then we're going to start messing around with a couple of these settings. We're going to change up the random a little bit. Have some more random hairs. Um, and we're going to go and we're going to scroll on down to children and we're going to add in simple. So now we have a buttload more of hairs. <laughs> That's a lot more hair. All right. So uh, in, in this, we don't really have to mess around with a lot. You, you can, of course, mess around with a bunch of stuff if you uh, if you feel that it's that that you like to. Of course, you can just mess around with these and see what they do a bit easier than uh, than me just telling you what they do. <laughs> um, of course, random just changes a bunch of different random aspects here. We have like uh, uh, some some crazy some crazy messy hair compared to the streak that we had before. Um, some some more ooh some more mess kind of di disconnects itself from the ball. The threshold, of course. Threshold for all of these. Like I said, clump usually. Uh, it puts, of course, it puts the base of the of the hairs together, or it puts the tips of the hair together, um, depending on what you have that set on. So, mess around with a few of those, see what you like. And I'm gonna change this to curl, by the way, uh, down here in kink. I'm gonna change that to curl, and we might turn up the frequency just a bit, something like that, and the shape, because that oh, that looks so cool. Uh, it's something about right uh, five, and then the flatness. Might want to move that around just a bit. All right, so that looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. We're gonna set up our light really quickly. We're gonna add, we're gonna take this point lamp and we're gonna turn this in the lamp settings to sun, and we're gonna leave that right there. It's pointing directly where I need it to point. <laughs> um, and in the world tab, I'm gonna hit use nodes. I'm gonna hit this little button next to color, and we're gonna change this to sky texture, and we're gonna turn this little ball up a little bit, just something like that. We're going to render to viewport change so we can see a bit better what we're doing. I'm going to turn the tur turbidity. Oop. I'm going to turn this up to about maybe four. Looks pretty good. And the strength up to two. Now, with our ball selected, we'll go into the color material tab and we'll hit use nodes. I want to change this to. I did a test with an orange with an orange fuzz ball, that the one that I showed in the beginning. So I want to do something a bit different. Can we do like a blue? Maybe, maybe like a blue. I don't know. We'll see. Let um, me move this around a bit so we can see where the sun is. Something about right there. Looks pretty good. Yeah, I like that. Um, and we'll, we'll amp up the sun lamp to like 10 or something. Because it's not bright enough right now. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I like that. Alright, so that is our fuzzball 
Um, if we give this a quick render, you'll be able to tell that it'll, it'll take a while. And the reason it takes a while is because there's so many different particle strands, and each one of these pieces of hair is actually uh, is actually rendering and casting a shadow on all of the other hairs. So shadows, of course, take longer to render in the Blender's cycle render. So that is why hair takes a long time. Um, one of the many reasons. But uh, if, you, if you're going to do hair, like I said, you must have patience because uh, I rendered that, that ball that I had showed you in the beginning, this ball right here, um, this nice ball that I did before I went to sleep. That took 45 minutes to render um, in only 500 samples, and the sampling did need to be turned up quite a bit. So, uh, like I said, do have patience. Uh, hair is pretty difficult. Um, but, uh, but yeah, we have this, this glorious ball here. I'm actually going to zoom this camera out just a bit. Oh, no, just a bit out something something like that yeah I like that and if you want if you can of course do transparent background so you can use this for whatever um, I do recommend that by the way you can always add it in the background if you want to later on so I'm gonna send the sampling up to about 500 like I said before that'll render for about 45 minutes uh, maybe I'll go a little higher maybe I'll go 700 make this one a bit clearer than, than the last all the way up of course so uh, that's gonna be it for our hair fuzzball tutorial I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you learned something I'll see you guys in the next one but until then bye